<coughs> so we will continue with our chapter of biology that was absorption. Now up till now in the previous videos you have seen that the plant is going to absorb the water in the form of first is imbibition. The next method was by diffusion. The third method was osmosis. And we studied that osmosis was of two kinds. One was exosmosis and there was endosmosis. So exosmosis is when the, the water is coming into. So it is exosmosis when it is coming in, uh, is coming out of the uh, cell that is exosmosis. Uh, and <coughs> so yeah, it is going to be the one in which exosmosis is going to take place is one in which outward that exit, I told you exit exosmosis and endosmosis is the entry of the water. So it is endosmosis and exosmosis of the water. We also studied that uh, the osmosis is going to take place till the time that the liquid, the uh, solution is both inside the cell and outside is going to be equal. So accordingly, what we have the next thing is called as tonicity. Tonicity is the concentration of the solute which is present in the solution. So depending upon what is the concentration of the uh, solution of what is the con concentration of solution which is going to tell me that when I place a cell inside the particular solution whether there will be exosmosis or whether there will be endosmosis. So according to the first one is called as isotonic. Iso, similar, same. Okay. Isotonic means when the concentration that is that when the relative concentration of the cell sap and the solution outside or the soil is the same, then there is no osmosis taking place. Accordingly, such kind of a situation is called as isotonic where no osmosis takes place. No osmosis. Why? Because the concentration of the solute or the solvent on both sides of the cell wall is the same. Cell membrane ke bahar, cell, not cell wall, cell membrane. Cell membrane ke bahar and cell membrane ke andar, agar dono ka concentration of water as well as the solute is the same, then there is no possibility of water entering or water in, or exiting from the cell. So accordingly, we see that Relate, tonicity is the relative concentration of the solution that determines the direction and extent of diffusion is called tonicity. So relative concentration of the solution that determines the direction and the extent of the diffusion is called as tonicity. Based on it, the, the solution can be of three types. First of all, isotonic. Iso means same. Tonus means tension of concentration. The relative concentration of water molecules and the solute on either side of the cell membrane is the same. In such a situation, there is no net movement of water molecules across the cell membrane. So, no osmosis. So, that is the one in which cell ke bar bhi or cell ke andar bhi same concentration hai. The next one is hypotonic. Okay, it is hypo. Hypo is something less. When I say hypo, means lower. So in the condition, the solution outside the cell has a lower solute concentration. Means pani jada solute come. Whenever we talk about the tonicity, hypo or hyper, hypo, we are always talking about the solute concentration and not the solvent concentration. Solute concentration kam, yane solvent jada, yane pani jada. Got it? So, when I say that hypotonic, hypotonic means 
solute content in the solution is less water content is more accordingly what is going to happen in case of a hypotonic the water will enter into the cell let's see this so what will happen here if this is a container and i put a cell inside over here to pani ke andar dalne se the water has got more this is more water this is more water less solute here as per this okay according to this this is more this is this so automatically water enters inside there is a water entering inside so this is swell up okay so what has happened water entered what is the entry of the water which kind of osmosis endosmosis so here hypotonic gives you endosmosis that is swelling of cell so in this condition the solution outside the cell has a lower solute concentration than the fluid inside the cell as a result the water molecules from outside will move into the cell okay so that is how the cell is going to take in water in this case and that's why we say it is end osmosis taking place in the cell the third one is hypertonic hyper jada hyper higher hypertonic hypertonic means what it is that in this case less water so hypertonic mein kya hoga less water more solute then this one so what will happen in this case in this case it will be the water going outside so for the third one it will be like this so water going outside cell mein se pani bahar niklega hence it will be exosmosis so what will happen this will shrink shrinkage of cell the cell is going to shrink the shrinkage of cell is going to take place this is nothing but exosmosis and it will take place when the cell is placed in a hypertonic so in this way hypertonic in this condition the solution outside the cell has higher solute concentration than the fluids inside the cells Con <clears throat> so consequently the water molecules from the interior of the cell will move out that is ex osmosis to understand the above three conditions we may suppose that a red blood cell and a plant cell has been placed in three different kinds of the solution as shown so they have given you this three this figure over here where a red blood cell and it is placed in three different solutions so that is how it has been shown so a cell shape remains unchanged so in case of isotonic thing the cell shape is going to remain unchanged neither water is entering inside nor it is going outside so it is going to remain unchanged the solution jahan pe it is unchanged is an isotonic solution so if i want to identify that whether the solution is isotonic or hypertonic or hypotonic what i do is that i just place a particular kind of a, a cell inside that particular solution if the cell is going to swell up or if it is going to remain as it is it is isotonic okay if the cell shrinks the cell shrinks in size and loses shape the solution outside is hypertonic if it shrinks There is exosmosis. It shrinks, and the shell has become down, has lost its shape. Then it is hypertonic solution. And lastly, cell slightly enlarges or even bursts. The solution outside is hypotonic. That is lower. That is hypotonic. When fully distended, the cell is called turgid. When it cannot withstand any further inflow of water molecules, so when you are putting it inside, and if the water is entering inside, it means it will not keep on taking water. Balloon के अंदर हवा भरते तो क्या भरते ही जाते हैं, भरते ही जाते हैं नहीं. एक particular point पे क्या होगा? It cannot take anything further, and it bursts. So similarly here also, it may happen that you put some cell inside, and the cell will take in water, take in water, and then finally it may burst. 
So that's why when fully distended, when it is fully distended, that means it cannot take any further water molecule in it. It's called as the turgid situation. It's called as a turgid. Okay, turgid situation or turgid condition of the cell is when it is fully distended, fully blown up. So in the case of plant cells, another striking feature determines the behavior of the cell when subjected to varying external fluid environments. This feature is the rigidity of the cell wall which resists bulging and protects the delicate cellular parts inside. The phenomena related to this behavior are called as turgidity, plasmolysis and flaccidity which is the next part. Okay, So we have over here that See, we see that the cell wall are very stiff. Okay, they are not allowing the cell to bulge out or give out from the cell wall. So, in such a case, you will find that there will be three conditions of the plant. The plant wall will be rigid, turgid. Turgid means what? Firm, very firm, blossom condition. The next is plasmolysis is taking place. So that means it is giving out the water. So water plasmolysis, and then. It is flaccidity means it is drooping. So if the plant is drooping, then it is good. So which we'll learn in the later part of the chapter. Now we see the fourth way in which the plant takes in the water. The fourth way in which the plant takes in water is called as active transport. So next is active transport. In fact, the word itself suggests something. Active. Active means what? Something you are doing purposely. Active means something by which you are going to use some energy to do that thing. Yes. Active transport is the transport of the water from lower level to higher level by using the energy of the plant. So, Active transport is the passage of the substance, salts or ions from a lower level to higher concentration opposite to what happens in diffusion or osmosis. Diffusion or osmosis means what It goes from a higher level to lower level. Higher level to lower level automatically goes. It doesn't need to do anything. There is no energy required. But when you are making it move from a lower level to a higher level, at that time you need to use that is you are traveling in the opposite manner and in such a condition you need to use its own energy the plant needs to use its own energy so that's why active transport is the passage of substance salt or iron from its lower to higher concentration opposite to what happens in diffusion using energy from the cell through a living cell membrane okay so you are going to use that means not you of course the plant the plant is going to use its energy okay the plant uses its energy from the cell and it is going to make it make the lower concentration ions go from lower concentration to higher con concentration through a living cell membrane so active transport is in a direction opposite to that of diffusion so, certain nutrients such as ions of nitrates, sulfates, potassium, zinc, manganese, etc. cannot pass through the cell membrane of the root cells easily. This is because the concentration is higher inside the root cell and it is so maintained in order to develop osmotic pressure for absorbing water. See, it's a very simple thing. We studied that the cell sap has got the solute concentration higher so that it is not it is easy for it to absorb water. Water ka to hai. water to under because the solute concentration is more, solvent concentration less, so water goes from a higher level from the soil into the plant. But what about the minerals? The ions present in the soil, how will they enter into the cell? Because here already that particular thing is in a higher concentration. So for it to take it from the soil is going to be difficult. So in such a situation, the plant is going to utilize its own energy to push the ions upwards. Okay. So 
certain yeah cannot pass through the cell membrane from the root cell easily this is because their concentration is higher inside the root cell and it is so to maintain so maintained in order to develop osmotic pressure for absorbing water in this way the concentration gradient of these ions is opposite to that of the diffusion in other words to obtain them these ions will have to be forcibly carried in words okay they will be forcibly carried in words from the region of the lower concentration outside to the region of higher concentration inside and this requires energy supplied by the cell in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate okay so that is when the cell needs to forcibly use its own energy and push the ion from a lower concentration to higher concentration such a kind of the transportation of the ions inside the plant body is called as active transport got it so that is active transport wherein the plant uses its atp the atp water is generated by the respiratory system of the plant so when they respire they are going to produce energy in the form of atp and this atp which is produced by the plant is going to be utilized for such activities which is the active transport there is also something which is called as a passive transport passive transport is nothing different from diffusion but just explaining its meaning passive refers to requiring no input of energy there is free movement of the molecules from the higher concentration to the lower concentration so diffusion to some extent even osmosis this is going to be done without any energy change without without any energy being utilized by the plant in such a case these are called as passive transport whereas here because energy of the body is utilized that's why this is called as a active transport so that's why we have got active transport and passive transport so hence we can have the difference between the diffusion osmosis and active transport in a tabulation form which is given over here first is diffusion liquids and gases can diffuse over considerable distances okay normally solids diffuse less but liquids and gases diffuse a considerable distance uh, a lot okay the next is osmosis water only transported over a short distance so in osmosis no gases no liquid only the thing possible is water because of the semi permeable membrane that water is able to go and that to only a short distance from one cell to another cell okay so that's why the distance traveled is less and that to for a very short and that to only water active transport cell energy from atp is needed so the main thing in active transport is energy atp required diffusion movement of the molecules of solute or solvent takes place in in case of diffusion it is possible that the solute may move around like we got the example of that paint brush just can the paint paint wala brush tha maine dip kiya to whole water became red so why because the solid particles of the paint got distributed inside the water so there the solute traveled inside the water or it could be the solvent which is traveling through so that is also one possibility that is so the movement of solute as well as solvent is possible in diffusion whereas movement of molecules of only water in case of osmosis in case of osmosis what can move is only water no other particles only water as a solvent can move upon whereas in active transport movement of ions only over then water so uh, ions only and then some water so that is why it is uh, active transport next is diffusion again rapid in gases but slow in solution the diffusion is rapid in gases gases may diffusion ko itna fast hota main example diya tha na ke if i spray a do over here or just a room freshener in the room in one corner within few seconds it is spread throughout the whole room so that is uh, the way it diffuses the perfume is getting diffused the gas is going to be diffused in that particular room instantaneously so that is why it is a very fast process uh, in cases whereas in liquid it is slightly slower so it will take some time so by you put the brush inside to wo brush ko itni mehnat nahi ke phatak kar ke lal ho gaya it takes some time to become the whole water turning red 
ऑस्मोस इज अ स्लो प्रोसेस ऑस्मोस इज कम्प्लीटली वेदर इट इज कुछ भी हो जाए बट इट इज अ स्लो प्रोसेस वेर एज एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट इज अ रेपिड प्रोसेस बिकॉज इट इज ए टी पी विच इज यूज सो दट इज विद एनर्जी सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी एन एक्टिव प्रोसेस सो रेपिड प्रोसेस द नेक्स्ट इज डिफ्यूजन अगेन ट्रांसपोर्ट फ्रॉम हाई टू लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अलॉन्ग अ ग्रेडियंट सो येस द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इज गोइंग टू टेक टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम अ हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो इट विल ऑलवेज बी फ्रॉम अ हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू अर लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट वेर एज ऑस्मोसिस ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूट विफ यू टॉक मेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इट्स ऑलवेज रिलेटेड टू द सोल्यूट सो वी से हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉल्वेंट और लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूट सो वन फ्रॉम अ लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूट टू अ हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूट और वी कैन जस्ट से हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ वॉटर टू लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ वॉटर सो ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम द सोल्यूशन ऑफ लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन मोर वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स to that of a higher concentration that is fewer water molecules active transport it is a movement of molecules against the concentration gradient so whatever is the concentration gradient from higher to lower nahi uska ulta lower to higher is what is active transport now comes again diffusion occurs with a with or without any non living permeable membrane so here you don't require any permeable membrane you will be non living or living koi koi permeable koi permeable nahi hai kuch membrane nahi chahiye so it is like direct contact so that is without any non living permeable membrane whereas osmosis either a living or non living semi permeable membrane needed you need a semi permeable membrane in between only then it is possible to have osmosis osmosis takes place only from higher level to lower level with a semi permeable membrane in between whereas in active transport also a living selective permeable membrane is required so yes it will be a selective membrane is essential even for active transport so these are the definitions of all three definition of diffusion is the transport of gases or dissolved substances in solution from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration when the two are in direct contact so when they are two in direct contact then they are going to have diffusion from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration osmosis is the transport of water through a semi permeable membrane from a solution of lower concentration to a solution of higher concentration so that is with the by separation of a semi permeable membrane so water when it is traveling from a higher concentration of water or we can say lower concentration to higher concentration of solute with a semi permeable membrane in between is called as osmosis active transport is the passage of salt or any ion from its lower concentration to higher concentration using energy from the cell through a living membrane so that is the active transport so these were the different ways or we can say this comes to the end of the different ways by which the water is being absorbed by the plants so plants are going to absorb water through the roots by the of course roots are the one going, which is going to absorb but the methods or we can say the different kinds of processes which could take place is imbibition diffusion osmosis and active transport so this was about this part we i think i'll end the video over here and i will continue with the turgidity and facility part in the next video